So unlike with a lot of documentaries, it's pretty obvious how you got involved with this particular story. But <laughs> what's interesting is, I guess, how did you decide to do it? Like, what was your process? When did you start thinking about making this into a film? And then when did you fully commit? So um, the I guess the, the the beginning of this idea, the kernel, uh, it started uh, just due to the, an experience I had in my third year while in the uh, graduate film program at NYU. I was a thesis student. I didn't I didn't really know what I wanted to do my thesis film on. And um, I was actually inside of a bank in Manhattan and I was in line and I thought uh, while in line that someone who was outside seemed, um, you know, sort of sketchy and I thought they were going to come into the bank and I had a full on panic attack, you know, standing in line at the bank. And, you know, obviously this was many, many years after the robbery, but since the robbery, I had always uh, just believed that I was gonna be a part of a robbery, but just on the other side of the crime. And uh, just that paranoia and it's just that just that one incident uh, just shook me up. And I couldn't, you know, I was trying to figure out what, you know, uh, what was going on, And but I really, I knew deep down uh, what was going on. I, it was just the fact that I had, you know, I been in prison, I'd gotten out of prison, been in school, and so I was just trying to move away from this event, but I really hadn't delved into it, and, I, and I, I'd always wanted to apologize and wanted to go and, and meet uh, the customers who were inside that bank, and it was that moment, being in the bank after having that panic attack is what pushed me to just make the decision to go down and reach out, and after uh, talking to my mother about it, I realized that you know my family, none of us had really just sat down and talked about how this happened. And so the documentary sort of came from that. So how long was the was the process of actually making this? So this uh, started, uh, the idea was around 2006, and then the film took seven years. We started, uh, we shot in 2007, most of it, uh, and it took seven years to complete. And did you have any time, like during that seven years, where you just thought, you know, maybe this isn't for me, maybe I need to back off, I, it's getting too intense, or it's getting too personal for me? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, around 2000, Understandably so. 2009, uh, 2010, I quit the film. Um, you know, if you knew me, family, friends, classmates, you couldn't even bring it up. You couldn't even talk to me about it. I didn't want to hear about it because I, I was really struggling with how to tell it and what I wanted to say and how to structure this film. And so I just left it alone. Uh, I literally just set the hard drives in the closet and I, it just d disappeared. And uh, fortunately, I just kept creating other things and writing scripts and uh, I think just working on other stuff allowed me to come back to this. Uh, and so around in 2012, um, I finally figured out how I wanted the film to be structured. And uh, I was just really, really uh, grateful for having a simple conversation with Doug, who's a, also a classmate. And he, he was like, you know, let me look at some of the footage. Maybe I could help, you know, you figure this thing out. And he came on board as the editor. Always good to have a good editor. Yeah. <laughs>